Hello guys! So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I do watercolor painting of an ice cream. All you need here is watercolor pad, watercolor, a significant brush you use, a glass of clean water, palette. You can use anything that could serve as your palette. I'm using a flat tray for plant pots as my palette. Tissue or cotton cloth or fabric. Also, you need a pencil and eraser. First, I did my sketch. So as always, it is advised not to overdo our sketch since that we are using watercolor paint which is very very transparent so if you happen to overdo your sketch it will be very visible under your painting also i prefer to always use good lighting or work in a well lit area it allows me to really see the colors from the reference and the colors that i mixed so i started the very ice cream part i work from top to bottom i mixed the pink and rose powder and applied it as a base for our dark areas Make sure that the color is applied fairly and before I forget, we are using a wet and dry technique here. So just a side note, what I'm using for a brush is not a watercolor brush but it is for an acrylic painting. But if you're like me and you find it okay to use such brush and if it works for you, go on and don't hesitate. So I am now applying the second layer for the shadow. As you can see, I first focused on the darker parts of the subject. For me, this kind of technique works sometimes, but it is always up to us where we are comfortable when we paint. Now I added a little bit more of Van Dyke Brown. This is to get the darker color or shade that I wanted to see on my subject. I'm not sure about others but my way of painting may be a little bit different from others. In painting, we have the what we call basic steps in creating an art. But as we go through all this process, we tend to discover our own techniques of painting and that's perfectly okay. So I started to apply skin color shade onto the lighter area of the ice cream. Guys, when we paint our subject, especially if it is white, we must understand that we cannot just leave it as a plain white. It still should have colors such as beige, gray, or light blue. This color gives emphasis to the light color that we want them to see. So the same with our first step on the ice cream, I started to make the sketch on the cone area. Again, let's not overdo our stencil. As you can see, I started with my base using small amount of Van Dyke Brown. This is gonna be the base of the cone's color. 
then I am now doing the dark part so I added more brownish color. In some cases, I would combine brown and black to create a dark color that still resembles woodish color. But today, we won't be doing that. Since that, I wanted to emphasize the inner area on the left side, where the light is coming from, I would put this much darker brownish shade on the upper and left part where shadow should be seen. Of course, I had to put a little bit of light shading on the almost middle area of each square as we can see in here. This is to give more emphasis on the depth of each square. This gives the impression of a 3D-ish subject or part. So while doing this cone part, I realized that it is indeed fun when you know where to put the right color on your subject and its purpose. So now let's put those little shadows on the bottom part and side part of our cone. Now guys, I want you to see this um, step by step of making the bigger version of a cone's surface. This is to let you know how it is being done in a bigger area. So again, after our sketching, we remove the unnecessary lines and we, we start with the base, which is very light, Van Dyke Brown. Now it is already dry, we can now start with the details. So again, I give emphasis on the inner area on the upper part and left side. This is to show where the light is coming from. So as we can see here, we are already able to see the sense of all these highlights. Now I am applying the second layer of the brown, which is the same color that we applied earlier. So it will appear darker because we already had our first layer. And make sure that the color is evenly distinct distributed on the surface of your subject so just like what we did on the cone we're gonna get to the inner area and give its emphasis by adding shadow on the inside of course I had to leave these light areas to show that it is where the lights coming into so guys we are done with all these steps now these colors I am combining and applying on the paper are the colors that I used for the ice cream, just so you know these shades. So these are the colors that I used and combined to create this beautiful art. Van Dyke Brown, Pink, Rose Powder, Grey, and Peacock Blue. So, as some of you know, I am not a pro in painting. I am a self-taught.
thought young artist. All these things I shared with you today were based on my experiences and learnings. Thank you for being here.